Tulmon. Today, let's analyze a copy of a fade diver and hope this video would be helpful for you. Dunk, oh come on, bien. Sales Yuji, this is the question which would appear in your TEF exam. So let's analyze this copy right in front of us and let's see how this has come out as. Here, those yun short journey d'après-midi, yun coupure de courant and preview à ne fait samé la panique chez les clients du supermarché. Super! Supermarché nommé Carrefour à Normandie. Alors que les acheteurs faisaient du shopping, ils se sont tout, tout de coup retrouvés dans l'obscurité à cause d'une panne d'électricité. Moi, j'ai eu peur à expliquer l'un des clients du supermarché à TV5. Ça n'est qu'après deux heures que le problème technique a été résolu. C'est choquant, c'est choquant que cela soit arrivé. Cependant, nous aurions dû être prudents à avouer le responsable du grand marché. Chaque client a reçu un bon d'achat au guise de dédommagement du côté du supermarché. Voilà, c'est tout. Donc, ici, the number of word count I see here is 113, which is not bad. Now let's analyze this copy and let's understand the errors and the good points and the areas of improvement. Talking about the good points, what I feel personally are the good usage of connectors, which I very much see here. Voila, right uh, in front of you. Apart from that, I also see uh, the word count, which is great. And the, uh, the person has very much, uh, very much uh, clarified what, where who and how in this uh, piece of uh, faith word and uh, the good usage of vocabulary as well but of course the TEF is not corrected like the way I have done for you now it is deeply analyzed because it's an important exam and let's understand how it is being corrected and here we go Ooh, so I see a lot of errors, a lot of red things here and let's understand how it is being corrected. Of course, uh, the question was not correct apparently, so the error has been noticed here, which is obviously would not be the case in the exam. The exam question definitely would be correct, grammatically correct. This was just a specimen taken from the uh, material, hence it was apparently incorrect. Now let's look at the errors here. Here. Here we mention don, but the the character has replaced it with by par. Par yun shop journey d'après midi, yun coupure de courant imprévu unexpected a on a fait samé la panique chez les clients du supermarché Carrefour au Normandie. So do you see the preposition here? It was a Normandie and the spelling was also incorrect. Here it has been replaced by on Normandie. So this is a great piece of uh, knowledge which I find that uh, we should learn from here. Moving further, alors que les acheteurs faisaient leur course, L-U-R-S, S-C-E-C-O-U-R-S-E-S. Here, faisaient du shopping, which I honestly feel not much of a difference, but right, since this copy is being corrected by a native, let's accept certain uh, improvisation. Il se sent tout à coup. To the coup and not to the coup. No, not to the coup. To the coup is not correct. It's to the coup. The true dans l'obscurité à cause d'une panne d'électricité. Now, do you also see here the panne d'électricité is one uh, vocab which has been used. A courant de I mean, coupure de cura is another vocab. So please feel free to use the wide vocab range and you may copy these words too. If it is, you feel they are helpful. Moi, j'ai eu peur à expliquer à TV5 l'un des clients de l'entreprise. De l'entreprise. Here, the vocab used for supermarché a l'entreprise. That means, obviously, uh, the supermarché has been replaced by l'entreprise. And the, the word order, which was à expliquer l'un de clients au supermarché, du supermarché, 
it has been replaced by a explique learn the clio the learn the please i'm sorry if there is noise at the background i'll just continue and uh, please forgive me for the noise at the back sunny copy dessert cup it's only after 2 hours then which is a great expression again feel free to use le problem technique a it resolu which is this tense can anyone guess uh, it is one of my favorites though <laughs> i love this tense this is la voix passive and it must 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 be used in your favor se shokon ko sala swa arive another great vocab another great grammatical range pardo and that is Yes, yes, yes. Our favorite subjunctive. Yeah, yeah. This is subjunctive. Passé. C'est pendant nous aurions dû être prudent. Voilà, dû être prudent. Ça veut dire had to be careful. Now here, what was that? All oh, right. The 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 person who had written this copy had not accorded it. Now we have être here, guys. So we really need to accord it. So our dû et orio dû être prudent. And which is this tense? This tense is conditional passé. Conditional passé. A avouer le responsable de la grande surface. Overall, again the vocabulary. Chaque client a reçu un bon d'achat. Bon d'achat voucher in English. On guise de dédommagement, elle dédommage moi. Ça veut dire uh, as a matter of compensation, as compensation. So here the candidate wrote du côté du and you it is it is replaced by de la partie de la grande enseigne grande enseigne and then the vocab used for supermarché so I'll just go ahead and change the color of this one so that you don't get confused right so I think now our copy is all well corrected and if you want I'll share uh, the copy uh in in the youtube channel link here below you can comment and in case this video was helpful please let me know and i'll come up with more specimens of fake giver for you keep writing to us keep watching our channel and thank you so much for your support and help merci beaucoup bonne chance